wireless electric charging. It's a thing, it does work, but Tesla bought a wireless electric charging company in order to basically um, put this technology into its EVs and start selling this technology for your home. But Tesla then went, nah, it's actually not that good. And they sold their wireless charging technology company only about a year after buying it. So there are some limitations with the technology, but interestingly, some new research has just discovered how to actually fix these problems. And in fact, they come up with an entirely new way of actually charging an EV via relatively much longer distances wirelessly. In fact, this new way of wirelessly charging is a huge step up versus the technology that was previously being used and that which was being used by the company that Tesla acquired and subsequently sold. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Wireless power is about to see a revolutionary change. Scientists have achieved a breakthrough in long distance charging efficiency, says SciTech Daily. Current wireless charging pads, primarily utilizing induction over short distances, have demonstrated high efficiency, but only within very close proximity to the device being charged. New research though, shows that by harnessing the power of radiation suppression in the loop antennas, not only can devices be charged over significantly longer distances with over 80% efficiency, but also in various orientations, paving the way for a new era of wireless power transfer applicable to a myriad of devices from mobile gadgets, biomedical implants, and realistically possibly changing the way that we charge our vehicles. Right now, there's a pilot test in Japan. There's a section of road underneath the traffic lights where when you basically drive through it, it charges your electric car. There's a road in another place in Sweden, a highway, a section of Sweden, where when you drive down it, it charges your EV. And there are other, a few other places like this in the world as well. Now, Toyota recently set a world record for the EV that drove the furthest distance without charging. There's actually nothing good about Toyota's EV that made this, made this record. In fact, it's not good at all. But the reality is this Toyota EV just ran over a wireless charging pad uh, as part of a circuit road over and over and over. And it was able to just drive limitlessly. I mean, if the guys wanted to, if you had enough drivers, you could just keep on driving forever. I really like this idea. Could it work though using our current technology? Probably not, it's a bit too expensive. Not as efficient either. But this solution here may change that. Factoring in radiation loss is essential for efficient long distance wireless power transmission. Engineers at Alto University have developed an improved method for long distance wireless charging by enhancing the interaction between transmitting and receiving antennas and leveraging the radiation suppression phenomenon. They've deepened our theoretical understanding of wireless power transfer beyond the traditional inductive methods, which is a big advancement in the field. Charging over short distances, such as through induction pads, uses magnetic near fields to transfer power with high efficiency, but at longer distances, the efficiency dramatically drops. New research shows that this high efficiency can be sustained over long distances by suppressing the radiation resistance of the loop antennas that are sending and receiving power. Previously, the same lab actually created an omnidirectional wireless charging system that allowed devices to be charged at any orientation. Now, they have extended that work with a new dynamic theory of wireless charging that looks more closely at both near, which is non-radiative, and far radiative distances and conditions. In particular, they show that high transfer efficiency, meaning over 80% efficiency, can be achieved at distances approximately five times the size of the antenna, utilizing the optimal frequency within the 100 megahertz range. So they discover that having the right frequency can drastically change just how far away or how efficient wireless charging can be. We wanted to balance effectively transferring power with the radiation loss that always happens over longer distances, said the lead author. 
It turns out that when the currents in the loop antennas have equal amplitudes and opposite phases, we can cancel the radiation loss, thus enormously boosting efficiency. So what, what, does this, what does this all mean? Well, a universal approach to assessing wireless power transfer could be about to occur. The researchers created a way to analyze any wireless power transfer system, either mathematically or experimentally. This allows for a more thorough evaluation of power transfer efficiency at both near and far distances, which had actually never been done before. They then tested how charging worked between two loop antennas positioned at a considerable distance relative to their sizes, establishing that radiation suppression is the mechanism that helps boost transfer efficiency. This is all about figuring out the optimal setup for wireless power transfer, whether that's near or far. So whether or not your car is close to the charging pad or further away than what you might think would actually work, and it can work. They said, with our approach, we can now extend the transfer distance beyond that of conventional wireless charging systems while maintaining the same high efficiency. Wireless power transfer is not just important for phones, gadgets, and electric cars. Biomedical implants with limited battery capacity can also benefit. Now, what this makes me think, right, is that you could potentially create a robot, right? Say the Tesla bot, and you may need to only have a very small battery pack in it for it to continue working 24 hours a day, because this, this wireless charging may be capable of simply maintaining the robot's state of charge 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now imagine if you had robots building cars that didn't even need to take a minute out to be charged. They just work 24 hours a day. I mean, yeah, I know there'd be a lot of job losses, but it would make cars pretty damn cheap to manufacture. Anyway, this is probably the future of manufacturing, I believe, but I could be wrong. Could it be the future of EV charging? Could you just drive into a charging station and not even have to plug anything in, just sit there with your car on the road and you just know that that's a charging location? Or could you just drive through cities and there's wireless chargers everywhere, so you, you're just charging your car simply by driving down a street? Well, I think all of that is possible and I think all of that will actually eventually happen, just in different ways in different cities, depending on those people's needs. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Thanks for watching.